today I'm gonna show you how to make a quick vegan pie. It's your boy L1I2Ls and welcome back to my channel. But not just any kind of pie. Yeah, you read right, a bean pie. So normally these bean pies have some ingredients that are not too vegan friendly. Matter of fact, a lot of pastries are not vegan friendly at all. I found that out, so I haven't been eating them lately. I mean, Oreos, those are vegan friendly, but I've been trying to stay away from those things. Normally, a bean pie has two cans of navy beans, I have that, a can of evaporated milk, see, we have a problem. I decided to substitute the evaporated milk for some light coconut milk. Never tried coconut milk in a pie before, so we're gonna see how that works. Then, we have a half a cup of melted butter. That's a problem. I have a little bit of olive oil that I'm gonna put in there to substitute for the butter. I mean, when I say a little bit of olive oil, I mean a little bit. And then, ground cinnamon, I have that. Nutmeg, have that. Flour, have that. White sugar, I'm gonna use brown sugar instead of white sugar. And two tablespoons of vanilla abstract. I'm gonna go ahead and skip out on the vanilla abstract just for the simple fact that I'm already using a lot of sweet ingredients and I just think the vanilla would be too much. And plus, I didn't wanna get imitation vanilla abstract. I wanted to get the real thing and it's kind of expensive. Okay, we got two eggs and two egg yolks, see? It's another problem right there, right? How am I gonna bake a pie without putting eggs and egg yolks in it? My good friend Google told me that if you smash up some bananas, you can replace eggs or use things like applesauce or something called aquafaba, which is basically bean water. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this pot and we're gonna put some beans in it. Now this word gets a little tricky. Since I don't have a blender, I put the beans in the blender, I blend them up, bada bing, bada boom. I actually blend all the ingredients together and then I'll really be winning. But since I don't have one, I gotta use the most primitive tool in the world and that's a fork. So after about five minutes, we finally got the beans down to a nice bean paste. Five minutes of pure elbow grease. See, I worked up a sweat. We got this consistency right here. Nice, nice custard-like consistency. I don't see any whole beans in there. If you guys have a blender, this would be a lot, lot easier for you. You would have been done already, probably would have been in the oven. Now, we're gonna add the dry ingredients. The recipe I'm looking at requires a uh, tablespoon of ground nutmeg and a tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm going to do three tablespoons of cinnamon and two, two tablespoons of nutmeg. All right, just to get to the pie of our labor, basically I added three tablespoons of cinnamon, two tablespoons of nutmeg, I added the entire can of coconut milk, I mixed it up a little bit and I added a little bit of blue agave. I poured it into the pie crust and then I baked the pies for approximately 55 minutes on 400 degrees and here's the results. 
These things been out the oven for 15 minutes. They don't look too bad. They seem cool enough. About to cut me a slice. So I'm sitting here editing this video right here. And I'm thinking like, man, this video has to be more than about a f***ing pie. And it is. It's a lot bigger than that. The first few days of being vegan, it was awesome. I was eating a whole bunch of salads. If you follow me on Instagram, at Illuminati21, I had to plug that. You will see that I've been eating a lot of salads lately. And then after about the fifth day, I started to miss meat. So I created a meatball sub meatball sub and it was awesome it was made out of navy beans and mushrooms and it was pretty good and i was like i'm thinking i'm getting the hang of it so things started to progress i started to eat salads and then i signed up for the vegan society so they send me awesome meal ideas every single day and that makes it easier but i'm also doing intermittent fasting so i eat between noon and 9 p.m. That's a nine hour eating window. And yesterday or the day before yesterday, I was at a barbecue. A barbecue where I couldn't eat anything there besides barbecue potato chips, which I did. See, being a vegan, it cuts out a lot of junk because a lot of food has milk, eggs, and meat products in it. So hot Cheetos, I can't eat, but it is some vegan junk out there such as potato chips. And I'm not even gonna lie, I occasionally indulge in potato chips, salt and vinegar to be exact. I went to this barbecue and I, I haven't ate meat for 28 days in total, but I've been on the vegan challenge for today's day number 15. I baked that pie on the 10th and a few days after I made my meatball subs, I made some awesome vegan chili. See, Google is your friend. I Google a recipe. I Googled this recipe right there. I emulated it. I, I cut out a couple things in a recipe and then I made my own rendition of some vegan chili right here and it was awesome. I've been getting the hang of it. I also went out to eat and the salad bars have been my friend because you can't go wrong at the salad bars. But when I was at Buffalo Wild Wings, I seen that they had a black bean burger on the menu. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Finally, a burger from a restaurant that I can eat. So I asked if it had milk or eggs in it. And they said they didn't know, but they came back and bought me the booklet with the ingredients in it, which was awesome. Shout out to the people at Buffalo Wild Wings. And it turns out that it was vegetarian, not vegan, because it had not only eggs, but it had milk in it, so I couldn't eat it. And I was reduced to eating an awesome salad right here. It was initially a chicken salad, but I don't eat chicken, so I got a chicken list, and it was only like five bucks, so that's a win. When I was at this barbecue, I haven't been drinking lately, and that's not a part of being a vegan, that's just me, personal decision that I made for my health. After being there about three hours, I, st I started to get hungry and it was touching eight o'clock. I figured I had to go do some shopping and I had to come home and eat. So I was ready to leave and my ride wasn't ready to leave and my attitude totally changed because I was hungry. And I also had to buy food and cook food and eat it before 9 p.m. basically. I wanted to cook a burger because I didn't get my burger at Buffalo Wild Wings. I seen a whole bunch of burgers coming off the grill and hot dogs, but I wanted a burger because you guys, if you follow me, you know I love burgers. So I made my own. It was awesome. It was made out of beans, mushrooms, and sunflower seeds and some other things. I patted it out, I fried it up, and that thing right there was the best thing in the world. The thing is, lately, everybody's been giving me compliments, saying that I look different, that I look good, and the, for the first, first two three times that was totally cool and like now i hear it so often like it seems like that would be a good thing but it's kind of annoying to be truthful another thing that was said to me was you used to be the life of the party what's going on and i noticed i had some blemishes on my skin and you know this your skin is your biggest organ if you if you have blemishes on there that means something could be wrong with you and i was just thinking about that and they were like you all right daydreaming over there i'm just like i'm just thinking about my skin think being a, a vegan is, is, is turning me into a different person and I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing. I know I haven't gained any weight. 
I started this journey at 179 and I am like 180, so basically a pound. So I really don't count that as any weight. I just have to eat at a certain time. I feel good and I'm probably gonna continue to do this. As long as I can be out in the public and I can get me some food, everything is cool. So I might just have to start bringing a snack with me. All right, that is the gist of it. 15 days down, 15 more days to go. If you like this video, make sure you like this video. If you love it and you're not already subscribed, hit that button right now. If you're a proud vegan and you've been a proud vegan like for a long time, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. It's your boy Ill, one I two L's and stay healthy.